what's going on guys hope you're having a lovely weekend this is anvil head and sarah what's going on hey, what's up nothing much just trying to take it easy this weekend mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh today we're coming back at you with another sticky note take this day we're talking about priorities so uh uh in generation six priority moves became stronger than ever before and today we're going to discuss just how meta defining priority is in ORAS OU. so uh as for people who don't know ORAS is one of the most uh offensive meta games in uh in pokemon like in general i'd say the only one that's just almost as offensive would be like uh gen 5 where it's just offense on offense usually and um yeah, a lot of the times there's uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming to deal with the the, the plethora of threats in the tier using a, a defensive team specifically. So many teams re rely on like priority to help deal with that, and and we'll go over that in this uh, video as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess Sarah, you can explain what priority is. Okay, so what is a priority move? You may wonder if you're new to this. So, um, basically, moves in Pokemon have what's called priority, which means that um, there's an order when, when they happen in the turn, and this ignores uh, the speed stat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, generally, you look at your, your Pokemon speed, you know, maybe they're like a... I don't say that they're a Charizard, right? It's base 100 speed. And you have, like, a positive speed nature, let's say a Timid or Jolly, you maximize your speed, EVs and IVs, you'll have a max speed of 328. Right? But... Let's say you're going against, uh, you know, an Azumarill, right? Azumarill is pretty slow. It's like base 50. Yep. Maybe. Base 50. Mm -hmm. No matter what the uh, Azumarill does, besides maybe, no, even even like max speed, choice scarf, Azumarill, you get a choice scarf, which will make it speed 1.5 times its uh, um, normal speed. It'll be, still be slower, no matter what. However, if uh, Azumarill uses Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet has a plus one priority, meaning that, you know, if, if the Charger goes for, um, let's say, Flare Blitz, or, you know, Flamethrower, or, or what have you, th those moves have zero priority, which means they'll go after Azumarill's Aqua Jet. So, uh, in the case here, I don't know why I use Azumarill, we have a Scissor, a Scissor is, like, one of its signature moves is a Bullet Punch, so it's plus one priority, and you know that's you know it's pretty hard to find a scissor without a bullet punch. Yeah. yeah. So the so the priority moves they go ahead of other moves regardless of your speed stat. Mm -hmm. So they can be really uh, clutch. They can be really helpful if there's um you know like a, a threatening Pokemon on the other side and you want to either scare it out or you know or knock it out. Yeah. And um. So you, Right now it's just plus one, but there's other um, values too. There's plus two. There's um, some are plus three. Some are negative. Mm -hmm. Right. So it it, it, it kind of goes both to go. You know, there's, a, there's a range for it. True. True. And so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about mostly uh, plus one and up today, but there's there's more that we, we won't get to. But we'll, we'll talk about the most common ones. Yeah. True. And, and and you guys might be thinking like, oh oh wait, this this move uh, lets my uh fatter like. Uh, very strong fat mon move before something else there there must be some sort of uh you know balancing feature which you guys are probably uh you guys have made a right guess because a lot of these times the priority moves are are number one they're exclusive to certain mons so you won't see everybody pulling up with a bullet punch you'll see uh certain uh, characters like uh scissor or metagross uh have access to that and um another thing is that they're well, they are. They they do have a priority. They usually come at a cost of being like a little bit weaker. So you'll see a lot of these moves are usually like uh, forty base power. There 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 are some exceptions, but they they they're uh, in increasing uh, rarity. I would say. Yeah, and, and, and technically, actually, um, even the ball punch is is one of those forty base power priority moves. Uh, with a scissors ability technician, it, it adds a one point five multiplier. To moves that are 60 base power and lower oh yes so for for a scissor it, it basically like a 60 base power um party move which you know it makes it even better mm -hmm. and then you know add stab on top of that source dance and then suddenly you can see why you know 
Well, Bullpunk is such a good move for Scissor. Yeah, true. Anyway, I think we could... Yeah. Do, uh... So, moving on to the next one. So, uh, here are a couple benefits of priority moves. So, uh, as we mentioned before, you can overcome a low speed set. So, uh, Scissor, for example, it usually is in the uh, 200, uh, mid 200 speed range, but with the help of a bullet punch, it can basically uh, um, out prioritize a lot of uh, faster mons. So, uh, something uh, to note, for example, like you can get rid of a uh, Weavile or, uh, you know, like uh, Mega Diancy. Yeah, Mega Diancy. A lot of mons that are just uh, weak to bullet punch, you can straight up take out. And, um, a lot of times this is used as a means of uh, revenge killing. So revenge killing means um, oftentimes when it means like uh, if the opponent has like KO'd one of your other team members, then you can send in this uh, this priority mon and get rid of it uh, as well, almost like a means of revenge. So mm -hmm. um, what this allows you to do is it, essentially that like, you scare them out or you get rid of them outright, which is pretty nice uh, and prevent them from sweeping through your team. And on a similar note, if you have access to like a setup move like Source Dance, you can also uh, enable a cleaner or enable sweeper. So Scissor, for example, if you get a, a couple of Source Dance up, you can just outright destroy teams with a priority bullet punch. And Scissor's defensive typing can take uh, advantage of that too, which is nice. Um, yeah, anything else you wanted to say about overcoming low speed or? No, uh, that's anything. So it lets you. Sorry, I'm trying to thought, but no, it, right. it helps you to um, be bulky in the case of like scissor. I think that's uh, one of the clearest examples. But um, yeah, it, it, it just makes like slower mons still be threatening and and uh, you know either create create momentum that way or mm -hmm. um, main, maintain their uh, their health without getting hurt. Oh, true. So that's true. a good thing. Yeah, so it, it, it can be pretty pretty nasty. You no, know, that, that's why Weavile, for instance, can last a long time in a game, even though you know it's um it's on natural bulk and typing isn't amazing defensively, but because it's so fast, because it, it it's it's so threatening and you know forces switches or you know things that it comes in on just kind of die, mm -hmm. right? it, it, it tends to stick around in the game. So you know, already it tends to you know it, it keeps us sticking around for a while because they don't have to. You know, they can have speed threats, or they can you, you, often without making contact, like, like the ice shard, for instance. On the, um, we well, even if you have like a rough skin, rocky helmet, guard chomp, you know, even an ice shard, you know, he, he, he might oko it, mm -hmm. and add a little, little chip, and then you know, you, you, you don't take any damage back. Also, I get uh, on the bottom here, mm -hmm. uh, in the case of prankster, so um, it's mostly just effects. Um, Plavki is the most relevant mod with Prankster. So, uh, once it's hot, and, and a few others. But um, with Prankster, you can even use um, status moves uh, to have priority. So, uh, any Pokemon with Prankster will have their status moves ha have one plus one priority. So, you know, that, that means things like Recover, means things like Thunder Wave, things like um, Spikes. Did I say that right, Plavki? Spikes? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. It's a um, you know, setup moves like Calm Mind. You know, so uh, all these things will get that priority. So if you want to T-wave something that's, you know, maybe getting out of hand, mm -hmm. you know, there you go. If you want to get like a last second haze or, um, or a <laughs> spike up, there you go. Yep, yep. So it, it can also be used defensively as well. And we'll talk about that more uh, later. All right. So now we're going to move uh, into the actual like abusers. So, um. We have the most infamous fake out abusers in uh, oh, yeah. Medicham and Lopunny. So uh, both these guys use fake out. So that, I guess I should explain what fake out is. So fake out is a plus three priority move. And you must be thinking, what plus three? That's insane. Yeah. But uh, one of the um, uh, drawbacks of fake out is that you can only use it on uh, the first turn you're in. So send say you send out your Lopunny turn one. You can for fake out only works on that turn. If you use any other turn, it's not gonna work. It'll fail. And uh, so, so people usually play around that. They use fake out, get 
some chip damage and then they they switch uh lapani out and then when they switch it back in they can use fake out again so that's why it's plus three and um it is pretty low risk because what fake out does it flinches the opponent al- almost guaranteed um there's a few exceptions like uh inner focus mods but yeah most of the time you'll see a lapani fake out chip a mon into range and then just take it out with a high jump kick and uh yeah. similar to medicham fake out high jump kick it also has access to bullet punch so it, these mons are definitely uh threatening in the sense that one they can hit hard two they can hit faster mons with fake out so these are really good uh revenge killers in mm-hmm. a sense uh, anything else you wanted to say sir no, no, no. that would be mentioned the, the, the flinch so the, the, the flinch is why these, these moves are so low risk because mm-hmm. you come in he basically always gets the, the the first hit, and in the case of Lopini, you have to stab because it's a normal type. So Lopini gets the you know, one point five multiplier, mm-hmm. and actually, it's just you know strong as hell. Yeah. Run at him the next is like over six hundred. Um, tech. so um, even in this linking situation, right? Like maybe the, the, the opponent's got like a, you know like a scary mon, and you have but you have some sacks. You know, or some mons, you, you can just you know bring it out to to sacrifice and then come back in every time to uh, get more chip damage with fake out. Hmm. You know, you, you can win a game that way, even if it looks like a you know scary for you. So yeah, it's one of the best moves in the game. Um, I'd say, and definitely doubles. One of the best moves in doubles too. Mm-hmm. But also, it's just so good in singles as well. But um, if, yeah, yeah, I definitely see fake out as, as part of why these two mons are. Some of the best megas in the tier. Yep, yep, true. It's all that's a priority. Yes. And those high jump kicks. Oh, yes, yes. Look at those feet, guys. Woo! <laughs> all right. Jeez. All right. Feet? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Let's move, let's move on to the <laughs> other. But <laughs> let's talk about hands, these fast hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm still here, too. Oh, yes, true. So, so um, I can read this one. Yeah, so, yeah. um, Meta Metagross, I guess, is there. The most relevant bullet punch users, and then you know, you know, switch that to that special guest, uh, Meta Champ too. Doesn't always have it, but you know, it's not a common sight to see. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes, so both Metagross and um, since they're both both love having bullet punch in their movesets, I I usually like it on uh, Metagross. I always like it on on Scissor, and you know, it, it, they're similar but also different. So for, for Metagross, Metagross has um, you know, pretty similar bulk to um scissor but it also has um, a lot more speed so it gets one it's a 110 base speed pokemon so quite fast it's like in the same speed tier as uh latios and and uh, latias and faster than kelio you know mm-hmm. so you know, that's what you're dealing with there but um metagross is more of a wall breaker i'd say not not not, not quite a sweeper because it doesn't really have like a setup move i mean, have home claws but you know, you, you generally when coming out with Metagross, you want him to just like like punch something. Mm-hmm. Whereas a scissor, scissors it tends to be run more uh, defensively or, or bulky offensively. So um, you know, you, you'll have Roost for recovery, and you'll have SD. So you, you can use it more. Um, you, you, you can use it in other ways. Like we said, it could be like a defensive Pokemon. It could be a you know, offensive pivot. It could be a bulky offensive Pokemon with SD. It could be utility. Um, so it can run a, a lot of different ways, but uh, in any case, they, they're both pretty strong. And Metagross has a tough pause boost as well, so it's not quite technician level, but it's still like you know a nice little buff to it. Mm-hmm. And for revenge killing or what have you, you know, it's really nice to have in the back. And um, for Metacham, the combination of fake out and bull punch is really nice because you know Metacham is, it tends to run uh, adamant or jolly for bad, <laughs> and um. It only hits like 299 speed in that case of running adamant. So having the two forces priority and fake out bullet punch. So even though they're not a stab, like, you know, you're still basically doing like 80, let's say you use an 80 base power move. Because you know, have to fake out the flinch and then you bullet punch right after. So you did like 80 damage before the opponent okay, generally you know, gets a chance to react. Yeah. So you know, it could be very devastating. And then, you know, you add a high jump kick and a coverage move and you, know, you can see why Metacham is so threatening. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of insane, like how much more stuff Medicham can threaten out with uh, Bullet Punch, like uh, Diancy, for example. It's it's oh, yeah. it's based uh, 
it, it's, it's base uh 110 like metagross too so it's way faster than medicham but medicham or uh but uh, diane c gets uh o-code by medicham's bullet point so whenever you see that interaction diane c always has to switch out otherwise it's uh it's gonna get fainted and um yeah. that that's like the crazy thing man like it, it, priority can definitely turn some uh, matchups around just because it lets your uh, slower mon hit first. It's, it, and it's, 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 it's crazy when you, when you see it. Like on paper, like Nancy should just, you know, just crush a uh, Medicham, but because that priority, it's always got to either uh, protect, run away, or, you know, risk singing and, and get a bullet punched. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the fear of priority <laughs> it keeps these guys, you know, especially in the case of Medicham and us, uh, Keeps these guys like healthy longer than you would expect. Yeah. Especially Men of Champ, you know, because they're got pretty uh, mediocre bolt. Hmm. All right, so moving on to the next one, we have the Aqua Jet Abusers. So um, these guys will probably be your best friend if you uh, are kind of weak to uh, Sand Drill or Volcarona. And uh, what these guys do is they often make use of a, a choice band or in. Uh, Azu's case, it's usually belly drum and cross case. It can also be swords dance. So um, these uh, guys have really solid abilities. Uh, Azumarill has huge power, so that basically doubles its uh, attack. Crawdon has adaptability, so uh, it's same type attack bonus. So whenever, whenever people go for a, a move that matches their type, uh, it gets boosted by 1.5. But in Crawdon's case, uh, because it has adaptability as its ability, it um, the uh, water type moves it throws out are two times in power rather than 1.5. So both these guys can definitely hit pretty hard with Aqua Jet. And um, yeah, this is uh, I'd say these are a bit frailer than Scissor, but they, they can still get the job done. Like uh, Belly Drum Azumo is one of those things that can uh, straight up 6-0 a team with Aqua Jet provided uh, the other team is weakened uh, enough. And uh, with Crowdon too, Crowdon I'd say is like one of the best uh, stall breakers in the game. It's to have combinations like impossible, or almost impossible to switch into. And uh, yeah, these 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 guys have like some of the best offensive types in the game. And uh, Aqua Jet is it's base forty, but with the uh, setup these guys have and uh, even access to choice band, these guys are really solid uh, revenge killers they can stop a lot of bs in the tier like uh volcarona uh excadrill um i'm trying to think of what else but they don't have to like the, their hits don't have to be like super effective to take care of um certain mons like i'm, I'm pretty sure that um after a bit of chip like aqua jet can take out like thunderous after rocks and uh that sort of stuff so definitely intimidating uh to do with a lot of times um uh mons like volcarona are denied to sweep uh as long as these guys are around so it's it's kind of like a uh situation where your opponent's in the back right away because you have an aqua jet abuser on your team so they're probably gonna try to get rid of it before they can even try to sweep otherwise their mon like volcarona is practically useless yeah no, Vol i'm glad i mentioned Volcarona. So these are like uh, a few of the mons that I can actually like somewhat deal with Volcarona. Although they won't really appreciate getting the, the flame body burn. But, yeah, true. You know, usually you rather get a flame body burn than just outright lose and getting swept by Volcarona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're very similar to these two things. So Water Fairy, Water Dark, both great. Though I think um I think Chrono's a little better personally because that uh, uh, stab adaptability knockoff. It's just so it's just so so strong. Mm -hmm. Like you can like Oko uh sorry, uh Choice Bank can like like two KO a Ferrothorn with with knockoff. Yeah. And that's neutral, you know? I mean <laughs> it's pretty pretty crazy. That a water type can just, you know, deal with a Ferrothorn that well and uh as for Azu. It, I would say it has a little more um defensive utility. Like Water Fairy is like really great defensively. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, play rough, you know, this is like the best user of play rough at this point. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really strong co uh, stab combo uh, for both these guys. But, um, yeah, it, it's just really great. Water a great, great um, offensive type and defensive type. It's really one of the best types of all, but, yeah. Mm -hmm.
Oh, you can take the next one too. Oh, okay, sure. So mock punch abusers. So uh, <laughs> not quite as um, I say it's not quite as good as uh, Aqua Jet generally, but um, you know, fighting's still really good. It's a really good stat, even though there's um, you no know, fairies now in ORS, so not quite as good. But uh, both of these guys have other things going on going for them. So in case of Breedlum, Breedlum has uh, either Technician, which like Scissor gives it a 1.5 boost to uh, uh, base 60 attacks and lower. So the Mock Punch becomes a base 60 move. And oftentimes you may see like a Life Orb or Choice Band with it, so that adds even more power. And then combine that with like a Spore, a Bullet Punch, I'm sorry, Bullet Punch, a Blood Seed, Swords Dance, and other things. You know, uh, the Rainbow's got, got a lot going on for it. Now it's time to get into like the toxic heals, a uh, toxic word, poison human, uh, leech, focus pun, and you know, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mock punch on, for these mods, especially in Reland's case, you know, it, it's just one, one, one thing that they got going on for them that they that they have a lot going on too. In the case of Conkelder, you don't see Conkelder as much, but you know, it's still a great user of a, a assault vest, and also it's got naturally good. Uh, HP and you know, great 140 base attack, good move pull, great abilities, and with an AV you can patch up that uh, you know special weakness, special defense weakness, and it also has uh, drain punch. So like you know stab drain punch, you get you can heal sick yourself up. So you know you have AV, you still have like some form of recovery. So um, yeah, it, it's a uh, it's, it's a nice supplement to these mods, I'd say. Yeah. And if a if a low bunny or a Mendesham got access to mock punch, I don't know. I feel, I feel like that'd be like really, be really good. Yeah, for real. Uh, I I like how you do, did mention like the other stuff. Like th these guys aren't just about mock punch. They also have other utility as well. Uh, mm -hmm. they have so many options. They're 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 kind of like underrated in that sense. Like people don't think. I mean, pe people don't use these as much because. Honestly, I don't know why people don't use Con Con Conquer the Beast, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely threatening in their own sense just because of those features. Uh, all right, so moving on, we have the Shard Abuser. So, well, uh, Ice is one of the most uh, threatening types, and uh, a lot of times, many ones are like afraid of this move in particular because it's like one of the best options to take out ground and dragons it's usually um a dragon ants user's worst nightmare so uh yeah that's how threatening this is and a lot of the time uh people won't even try to set up knowing you have an ice shard in the back um it, and it's one of those types where like uh it'll hit everything the like the abusers themselves hit everything pretty hard so it's kind of insane that a slow mon like Mammo can hit fast with the priority move. Yeah, I think for the most of guys, they also have like another, um, their other type, you know, in the case of Mammo, Ground, well, we Weavile Dark. So they have really great settlements to their um, ice, mm -hmm. their ice stabs and their ice shards. And they, and they go about different ways. Like Mammo is like, you know, I think uh, pretty bulky. So it can, it can take a hit. Despite the uh, ice typing, and then either you know knock something out with an earthquake or ice flow crash or just you know, finish stuff off with ice shard. And Weavile, you know, as you mentioned, you know scares out a lot of um, dragon dance users, a lot of ground types, um, many flying types don't want to deal with it either. And then you know a lot of stuff that, that can come in on those. You know maybe they don't want like a knock a knockoff. You know, so you're playing like a 50-50 game with Weavile sometimes, or if it's gonna go for a pursuit. So, there it's so threatening, but I, I try to just. You know, it, 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 in my opinion, it's like if it's not the best offensive type, it's like you know second or third. So it, it's just really great to have ice coverage. True, you know? true. And that's been true since like the Gen One, so I really, I don't think it's changed. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next one. Uh, you're just gonna see a familiar face again in uh, La Pony, so. These are quick attack abusers. So uh, similar to, similarly to how uh, Medicham has fake out into bullet punch, uh, La Pony has stab fake out into stab quick attack, which is also pretty scary. 
and um a lot of times uh you you'll uh see that people use that type of love money as their like uh revenge mon so so you have like a plus let's make it dramatic uh a uh plus six uh salamence and uh the nice thing about love money is first of all you can uh fake out flinch them and then put them into range of quick attack and that can that's kind of ridiculous at times but um yeah. yeah that's that's the scary thing about this and uh well it's it's not like the other mons on this list it it, it is pretty scary in that sense versus offense uh but diggersby and uh pincer they're scary in their own way because they have access to a set of moves so um okay. you, you can keep. uh so like a pincer for example actually let, let me fit you you can take pincer i'll, I'll go into diggersby <laughs> So, so Pinsir, it, it, it's not just regular quick attack when Pinsir uses it. He has a Pixelite, I'm not a Pixelite, excuse me, Aerialite, that's mm -hmm. the one. So Aerialite turns um, normal moves into uh, flying moves. So it, it, it will get the stab, and it gets like a, a boost to it. So 1.3 boost in uh, turn 6. Mm -hmm. So it, it turns quick attack, which, you know, otherwise it's usually a pretty mediocre priority move, unless you're like a normal type, typically, into like a really scary, you know, fast flying priority move with the boost from the aerialite and then you know swords dance and uh pincer's naturally high uh, base attack so you know it becomes super super scary super threatening mm -hmm. and uh yeah you, you can take the bunnies oh yes yeah. so um digger's b is like the fat version of uh la Pony. and uh the main thing with digger's b is it, it has a huge power similar to azumarill so its attack is double and uh with swords dance that's pretty scary too because um a fat mon like this shouldn't be able to hit faster things uh so this is often used as like a a means of dealing with offense in a sense but honestly it, it can deal with fat stuff too with its uh stab uh returns and uh the scariest thing about it is is the stab combination of normal and ground which can hit a lot of things neutral coverage mm -hmm. for sure yeah they could be like one of those uh, pokemon that um they're really really strong so it could be hard to pin on teams which is really funny because it has like a lot of good things going for it mm -hmm. but the uh you know strong earthquakes the strong um it's quick attack you turn sword stance is good it's, it's you know, spikes <laughs> get some spikes but yeah you don't, you don't see it too much sadly so yeah maybe, maybe we'll try to make a live of it at some point true true we tried before. <laughs> we'll keep trying. <laughs> All right. It's, it's still scary though. It's yeah. Still, yeah. Definitely scary though, even though it hasn't been doesn't get seen too much. All right. Moving on to the next one. I guess you can talk about this one, sir. Sucker punch abusers. So uh, that's one of the scariest ones. So uh, thus far, all the party moves we mentioned, unless they had like you know some form of um, you know ability altering it, like technician or. That's a melody. They're all just base 40 moves. Uh, not the case with Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, in at least RS, is a base 80. So, no. And, and it's dark. So it, it's, a good, it's a good typing. And it's a lot stronger than 40. 80 is like incredible. And then both these mods here, especially the Sharp, are, are really threatening. Because in the Bishrop case, gets access to Swords Dance. So, you know, a base 80. Stab move off of 125 base attack, which, you know, not incredible, but still, like, you know, above average. But uh, Sword Stance, you know, you even an item, you know, like Black Glasses, give it even uh, more of a boost. You need to turn that to uh, base 96, you know, uh, priority move. And you compare that with the Steel, Steel Typing to threaten out fairies, which would, you know, come in on Dark usually. You have, like, a really threatening. Uh, potential cleaner, sleeper, the red shield, like whatever you want, bishops. It's so scary. Um, although there's a drawback with Sucker Punch, it, it, it you know has a plus two priority, which I, I forgot for to mention here. So it's, it's it's faster than most of the other uh, forms we talked about. It, it has to. It, it only has a priority if they go for a physical move or an attacking move. If they go for a status move, like let's say a Will O Wisp or Rotom. Then it fails, and you get burned. But 
No, that, that's part of that's part of the uh, it's part of the deal with a sharp. Mm. Can be a really good mod if you know how to play it right. True, true. There's an entire thing called like sucker punch mind games where mm -hmm. it's all about you. Like if you're on the receiving end of this uh of this mod, people try to like outplay it, and those are like mind games because you're trying to guess what what turn they go for sucker punch in if they don't go for sucker punch at all. So it it is pretty um, anxiety inducing when you're on the receiving end of that. Um, oh, also a, a note about sucker punch is um, th one of the things about uh, Mega Absol's niche is that um, it, because of its ability magic bounce, it can uh, bounce off the status moves aimed at it. So it, it can fire off sucker punch for almost free like um say you're you're facing like a rotom or, or something and you click sd uh you can click sucker punch without worry because without worry of a status move that is because um if willow if rotom tries to willow visp you it, it'll just bounce back um Remember itself. yeah yeah that's a good point you know I, it, the same we don't see absol too much mm -hmm. it's so frail true true all yeah. right it's good so now, now we're gonna now that uh we're getting into like the the beefy stuff, right? The the stuff that hits harder. So, uh, moving on, we have the king of sucker punch users, Drudigan. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have seen our Drudigan live, you would know that uh Drudigan has a strong chance to oko Latios La Latios from full with the sucker punch. So you know, just just something to keep in mind. Just some, you know, some, some... stay well, people. Mm. That's actually good. Yes. All right. So moving on to the next <laughs> this year stuff. So we got some fast boys. Uh, we got. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even the choice. So uh, extreme speed. So extreme speed is uh, eighty base power. No, no gimmicks or anything like that. Like uh, sucker punch. It's raw eighty base power. The only thing is, it's exclusive to. I think like three mons, maybe four mons, including Light Noon, but um Oh no, that's few more. I think um Oh Zygar gets Yeah, Zygar. And um Arcanine. Oh yes, Arcanine. Right. True, true. Quite a few more. Since they're all the relevant ones though. And, or you know, in the OU maybe. Mm. Mm. I'll consider those the OU. True, true. So uh with extreme speed it's extremely powerful, uh bit form of priority. And uh like we said it's uh, it's it's eighty and it's plus two with not no drawback. So it'll it'll come out before most other uh, priority moves, which is kind of insane. And and these uh these mon Dragonite and Entei are are probably primarily the the main abusers, just because um one uh, Dragonite has access to like uh Dragon Dance, so um you you know how we mentioned before how uh. Dragon types fear ice shard from Weavile. Well, this uh, this Dragonite can work around that because extreme speed will out prioritize ice shard. So that makes one a Dragonite one of the scariest um, Dragon S users in the tier just just because of that main fact. Um, and uh, with Entei, it's usually uh, seen as a, like a banded variant. But you know, some 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 of my homies run uh, Howl Life Orb, so that's always something to watch out for too. Um, <laughs> I think Devin or something or, or Amir used it once on like yeah, a Sun team. But uh yeah, these things can definitely hit pretty hard with the uh, extreme speed. And um yes, I I'd say it's like the strongest uh strongest priority that is not stab because uh, there there's a certain mon that you, you guys have probably noticed it. We haven't mentioned it yet, but uh we think it's the best. We think it's the goat of this tier, and uh, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, but before that, we got to talk about negative priority. So maybe Sarah can explain a little bit about negative priority. Yeah, I think we mentioned this earlier, but um, we talk a lot about uh, plus one, plus two, plus three priority moves. But you know, some of these could go as low as like minus six. So for instance, uh, Roar, which all these uh, Pokemon here have access to. Roar is a negative priority move, which, you know, it, it, it may seem like it's kind of bad. It's like, why, why, why would I want to go last, right? Why, why would I want to get hurt first, potentially? Well, 
the the benefit, at least for like uh, Roar or um, some other some of those, is that you phase out, meaning that you uh, cause the opposing Pokemon to be forcibly switched out. So if they're at like you know maybe they like Billy drums up with their uh, Azumarill, get up like plus six, you know, and you stay in and you roar. Suddenly they uh, you know they use their their Billy drum, their their berry for for nothing, and you know a, a new Pokemon comes in and. You know, your opponent may be, you know, a little discombobulated from that. So it could be really great uh, defensive utility. In case of Roar, um, you know, there's Whirlwind, same thing. And there's things like uh, Dragon Tail, which uh, Garchomp gets access to. There's, um, no, there's, there's others as well. Um, um, I, I think uh, Mirror Coat uh, and Counter, those mm -hmm. counts. Oh, and, the most heat yeah. one, uh, Circle Throw. Circle Throw? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. On the, on the saves, but um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Garchomp in particular, oh, and, and, and it's Garmy too. But uh, I say Garchomp, uh, such as the, the Tank Chomp variant or the defensive Stealth Rock one. You know, it, it, it takes advantage of it, getting the rocks up, Dragon Tailing stuff out. You know, and then if they try to rapid spin or if they just try to come in, you just keep Dragon Tailing them out, so they take the damage from the Dragon Tail. In this case, it's like 60 base power, and then, mm. you know, force to be switched out, and then the next thing comes in and takes rocks, you know, so it, it creates like a, like a cycle where you're like getting on everything, and, you know, it's defensive, but at the same time, you're still doing damage, so mm. it's, you know, kind of like best of both worlds there. True, true, and a uh, similar thing goes for Skarmory and uh, Spikes and Whirlwind, so Skarmory can set up Spikes, and then uh, people will usually go into their spinner, like Extra Drill, They'll desperately try to come in and spin, but you can just keep whirlwinding them out and prevent them from coming in. They'll keep getting chipped down. And oftentimes, this is the bane of a, a, a drill user besides um, uh, facing a cuff aggregate. Uh, but yes, uh, also with Skarmory. Uh, so Skarmory has an access to a move called Roost. And what that does is it heals itself at the cost of losing its flying type. So... A lot of the times you'll see like if Skarmory is facing like a fat ground type, uh, if it re uses Roost and it comes out first, the ground type can go for Earthquake and actually hit it because it, it lost the flying type. And uh -huh. another way to work around that is to use Roar. So because Roar makes you go last, uh, the opponent's Earthquake will come out first and it won't be able to hit you because you still have the flying type. And then you can just roar them out and get rid of them that uh -huh. way, which is pretty cool. Oh, uh, also, like one other thing. So th this is very uh, specific, but um, Roar has a minus six priority. R Roar, Whirlwind, all, all those moves you mentioned have minus six priority. And that is one more than Trick Room. And Trick Room, <laughs> tr trick room is a, a move that people use usually on fatter teams. And what it allows you, allows you to do, it kind of inverses the, uh, the uh, attack order. So like if, if, you're a, if you have a lower speed, you can attack first. And that sort of stuff. And the, the main thing I, would, I want to say about that is um, it's minus seven priority. So what happens is it, it's it's like the last move that will ever go off. And you can negate that with phasing because Roar has a, a higher priority. So if you think an, an opponent is going for um, a tr like Trick Room, you can just phase them out and they can't get it off. Oh, uh, also, I, I want to mention, so sorry, I keep bringing things up, but uh, Zygarde. So Zygarde is a, a unique sweeper in a sense because um, it, ha it has access to uh, Dragon Tail, but it uses it offensively. And you, you guys might be asking, why, why do you want to use Dragon Tail on an offensive mod like Zygarde? Well, uh, the thing is, the, the way people usually deal with sweepers is they also use priority. So uh, the idea with Zygarde is you phase your opponent out before they phase you out. And that's kind of one of the threatening things about Zygarde in this tier. Because um, imagine you're like a Skarmory. Uh, you want to get rid of Zygarde setting up. You go for uh, you go for um, uh, Whirlwind. But Zygarde Dragon Tails you out before uh, Whirlwind comes out. Because he, he has like a faster speed uh, yeah. here. So uh, yeah, the, the Skarm can't phase out the uh, the Zygarde, and it becomes more threatening. And mm -hmm. th there's a couple of more abusers like uh, Suicune that can also do that. 
Uh, but yeah, that's also something to, to consider when using a negative priority, like in an offensive sense. Yeah, he said a lot of uh, good stuff there. Yeah, that card is really interesting in that way. But you get sub up, you get coil up, so you become super bulky. Things can't break your sub. And then once they try to phase you out, like you mentioned, you just drag and tail them out. Mainly, like, you know, someone like Skarmory. Mm -hmm. So it, it can be really <laughs> difficult to deal with for many months. But there, there are ways to deal with it. But I'm not going to get into that right here. Mm -hmm. The point is, negative priority. It's out there, and you know, a lot of it can be very decent, especially uh, defensively, but but also offensively in some ways. True. All right. All right. Is is the infamous? Yep. I, I think it's coming up next. So um, yeah. we haven't mentioned a certain mon, and it's coming up right now. So oh, uh, boy. here we go. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We got a Gale Wings abuser, and who Where is, is that? Where is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 man. That's oh, right. The king of skies. The bravest of all birds. Yes. So there was only one Galeon's abuser. Well, mm -hmm. I guess there's other guys in his line, but... His children. Yeah, his children. But daddy. <laughs> only one daddy. And it's Talonflame. A Talonflame has access to Galeon's. And the same... Sun and Moon, the same thing, Sword and Shield. This is like Oras Gale Wings. And Oras mm. is one of the most powerful party grading abilities in the game. I and mean, one of the best abilities in the game in general. So, all flying type moves. Doesn't matter if they're offensive or recovering, recovery or whatever, or even uh, talent or whatever. All of them get plus one priority. And this means Roost. So if you want to heal, if you're running like a defensive set, maybe, or a bulky offensive set, you can heal. A priority healing. If you want to just, you know, break things, you got Brave Bird. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you know, break things, but you know, <laughs> without hurting yourself. Acrobatics. So, I mean, Soundflame is, I think, one of the mods that people uh, think of when they think of ORS and what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it has the priority we just mentioned. It has a status, and you know, it gets will o wisp. Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, I I say it's like tools, or like like the whole package. It's greater than some of its parts, and it's all thanks to Gillings, because you know this Pokemon has pretty like unremarkable stats outside of its speed, mm -hmm. but the typing, the, the the flying stab, you know, sword stance. You know, Wisp, you mentioned Taunt, Roost, you know, all, all that stuff comes together and it makes, like, the best revenge killer in the tier, I'd say, or one of the best revenge killers in the tier. Yeah. It makes, it's like one of the best no nonsense mods, like, like the, available. Mm -hmm. yeah, the only thing that can, you know, consistently pretty much deal with Old Corona. Mm -hmm. I want to say consistently, because I'm sure people will come up with some more demon sets, but, you know, it, it's one of the best answers to, to Old Corona. I don't think that will change. And, um, no, it, 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 it's just so threatening. It, it's all thanks to Galen's. Mm hmm And, uh, the thing is, uh, this thing, um, because of Gale Wings, uh, this thing can practically invest into bulk and get away with it because it, its move, moves will come out first generally anyways. And it also has a naturally high speed. I think it hits like 386 naturally. Yep. Oh, was it three? Was it three six? Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, three six. Yeah, which is like insane. Speeds we by a lot, by like a few points. Yeah, so usually people run like max HP on, on this and uh, max attack, and uh, that's pretty scary in, in and of itself. It's you know, you know, one of the mods we mentioned before was uh, Bisharp, and this mod is usually seen as like a Bisharp counter if it's itemless, uh, and because of that, it's like it has its own niche in a sense where. It's one of the few mods that can that that does better without an item sometimes. Um, oh yeah. And yeah, that's because uh, Bishar's running around. You can't knock off anything because it doesn't have an item. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the acrobatics uh, power becomes one ten. Yeah. So, so well, one ten. So guys, that, that's not a low end. One ten acrobatics. So that's one one ten base power priority move. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go Greybird, you know, it's one twenty. Get a sharp beak. Someone becomes like one forty four. 
Yeah, even with like, you know, Town Flames, you know, mediocre attack. That's being generous with it. Like 144, guys. That's like over 100 points more than like some of the other base attacks. Base mm -hmm. uh, power moves we're, we're talking about. True. So, and, and it's flying. Flying. One of the best offensive attacks in the game. Yeah. Like, you want your, you want your other, uh, your coverage moves on this thing? Nothing a lot of time. You, you yeah. just have the flying attack. Mm -hmm. And if you have coverage, you know, maybe it's a little wisp. There you go. It's like a status. That's all you need about this thing. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and and the thing, the thing, the thing is like, uh, people try to capitalize on his flying type, going for like electric type moves, right? Uh, but the thing is like, say you have like a volt switch mon, and you want you want to bring it in versus talent frame, right? So uh, the thing about roost, as we mentioned before with Skarmor, you lose your flying type, so you can use priority roost, get rid of your flying type, so you're just a fire type, and then the opponent volt switches on you. It's not super effective. They've switched themselves out, and uh, talent beams like practically at full, just like a little chip. But uh, yeah, you can kind of capitalize on that sort of stuff, which is crazy, especially if your opponent doesn't have access to like that. Your opponent most likely will target your primary fire type because usually Ro Rotom cannot beat talent flame unless it has hydro pump, um, which is kind of insane, and. Uh, you can 1v1 a lot of mods that way too. Yeah, it's, it, it's super scary. You, you can never leave, like, a, a channel flame unattended. Like, you always have to, mm -hmm. like, you, you can't really give any free turns. Yeah. If it comes in, you, you gotta respect it. You know, it's, it's like, um, like, Fish Sharp. Mm -hmm. It's like, compared to that, but it, it's even scarier. Because, uh, it's, like, it's got natural, you know, great speed. But even if it's not going for, like, when it's flying, it's, it's going for Swords Dance or will o -Wisp. You know, still hitting like 280 some speed, which you know, most priority users are going to be slower than. True. All the ones that, that do have priority, you know, like what, like Bullet Punch from like Scissor or something or Metagross, mm -hmm. you, you, you resist it. You resist Mod Punch, you resist, um, what's the other one? Uh, not sure, like those are the main ones, but still. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> um, you, 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 you run bulk up. You know, oh, I, I, yes, I, bulk I, up. I love that, you know. Mm -hmm. You run bulk up to make yourself uh, even more defensive. And then it's like a slow, painful death for the opponent. Mm -hmm. So they, they can't hurt you. And when you taunt them, they can't do anything back to you. So you, they're just waiting to lose, pretty much. Yeah. It, 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 talent is just so funny. You, you can run it bulky offensive. You can run it like all that offense. You can run it special defensive, physically defensive. There, there's so many ways to, to run this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's all thanks to, to Galen's being <laughs> broken. Yeah. RIP talent flame. Yeah. Huh? That, Never forget. Yeah, this is why you play ORS guys, because uh, Town's Town's a, a beast in this. Channel. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing about it. Mm -hmm. People thought like, oh, it was toxic. Nah, don't talk to me about toxic. If you play mm -hmm. like Sun and Moon or Sword and Shield, especially Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, and then, what's left? so we got uh, some special stuff too in the end. Um, so uh, we have a couple of miscellaneous mons. You know what? Uh, you, you can talk about Father Keys, uh, Sarah. I, I, I can take Thunderous. Uh, oh, I, I think we should do Thunderous first, actually. Okay, okay. okay can you, uh, uh, I think Thunderous has to do something first for us. Can you uh, click something? Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, yes, Thunderous. There you go. Okay. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Thunderous um, has access to Prankster. So, Prankster, as we mentioned previously, gives your status moves a plus one boost in priority. Um, and the way Thunders usually uses it is uh, Thunder Wave, and Thunder Wave shuts down a lot of offensive teams just because um, it's a little thing. As we mentioned before in our top 10 moves uh, in Oras, Thunder Wave uh, one, uh, basically makes your speed 1 for it for 25%. Um, and that's pretty scary to an offensive sweeper if they don't have priority themselves because uh, they can easily be revenge killed by any other member on your team. And that's why Thunderous is kind of one of the most scariest mods to deal with on offense because it can shut a lot of sweepers down. Another thing you can do with priority is um, it, it, it can like evade taunt by uh, going for a priority nasty plot. And that's not usually used much, but if, if like you're in a scenario where you're uh, trying to set up on a Tornadus, like a taunt Tornadus, you can like out prioritize that in that sense, but very situational. Most of the times, 
Uh, T-Wave is the move you have to watch out for with this guy. Does it also get um, Nasty Fly? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, true. So you have uh, an offensive T-Wave and an um, offensive Nasty Fly. Mm-hmm. Although, I don't know if that party matters as much for Nasty Fly. Mm-hmm. They're already pretty fast. True, true. But, yeah, still. Maybe if you want to uh, evade a taunt, maybe, on something. Mm-hmm. Nasty Fly first. So, yeah, we get in that situation. Yes, yes, he needs um, a weapon in his artillery. There okay, nice, that's, nice. That's, that's the real key. Yes. Um, it's not key. <laughs> well, club key. You know, the thing was like, oh, you, I think pretty much all of our ass until like the last like week or something. I don't know. And then it dropped to you. But you know, make no mistake, this thing is still like, really good. Um, this has a Magirna typing. Oh, this is a Steel Fairy. Oh, oh yes. Before, you know, before Magirna took it. And. Even with like Clefty's, you know, relatively bleh stats all around, just that typing, just that, uh, you know, that prankster, the priority status moves, the, the spikes, T waves, uh, screens now, uh, all, all, all that together makes us really annoying one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, well, I think my oldest team that, that, that's good, or that I consider good, has Clefty on it. So I, I, I'm a fan of the thing. So it's another one of those mods that um, uses its priority usually defensively. Um, it's got a lot of like cool things it could do. And it's pretty, pretty threatening. Like, mm-hmm. you, usually if you're setting up, you don't want to see a cleft key coming. Yeah. Or if, if it's on team preview, you're like, oh, crap, what, 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 do, I, what, what do I want to, you know, let, let it paralyze? Mm-hmm. You know, so it, it, it could it, it do a lot of annoying things. So, um, yeah, good, good mod. And probably the best Prince user, I'd say, now, since uh, Make a Sable I got banned. Though, I mean, Make a Sable I wasn't a Prince user, but, you know, it, the Sable I was. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? True, true. Like, uh, Father Key's very powerful indeed. And, uh, yeah, there, there's some ridiculous strats you can do with Keys, like, um, there's one that uh it has a move called like fairy lock so you can like lock the opponent in and uh so like you can get a prankster fairy lock if they ko you they they have they're like forced to stay in so you can like uh like force a kill on them in a sense and uh you i, I kind of use that in like sun and moon to get like a guaranteed like ash grand but you can use it in auras it's, it's kind of situational but as Sarah said, like you, you'll probably use it as like a screen setter or a spike setter, and uh, as a T wave user, it, it's pretty scary because uh, versus like a, a physical sweeper, it can like T wave you to slow you down, and then it can click foul play, so mm. the physical mod can like KO itself pretty much, which is very yeah, you, scary. You punish it. You punish his own setup. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and you're trying to me. It also gets magnet rise. So Klefki only has two weaknesses: mm-hmm. it's fire and, and ground. Magnet Rise, you get priority uh, levitate, basically. Mm-hmm. So if they have a Landorus or Hippo or something, you just, you know, for Magnet Rise, it can't touch you. Then you, you get your spikes up. True, true. Without even caring. Yeah. So another offensive. Um, yeah, that's a great point. Because I, I know X Drills, X Drill love to uh, switch into this. And with Magnet Rise and Foul Play, you kind of threaten the, those mons severely too, which is pretty nice. Hmm. So, you know, it's Father Keys, man. He, oh, omnipotent, you know, has very different functions. Still threatening nonetheless. Um, and then there's a couple other miscellaneous stuff like a Custab Berry. So Custab Berry is, a, is like a berry that gives you plus one priority. And um, this isn't usually seen on most mons. A, a couple of, like a couple mons you see it on is a uh, Skarmory. So you want to get that last spike in once you hit sturdy, uh, you can do that. Um, there's there's a couple of heat mods we can do, but we'll, we'll, we'll probably show it off in like a live or, or something. Maybe. I, I remember um, it used to be like an angel team with like a fortress used to have it. Oh. So you get like the sturdy, whatever, you like the stealth rocker spikes up, and then you just get the priority explosion to prevent like a defog or a harvest or whatever, and then like bring in your threats. Yeah, uh, usually, usually like stuff like that. Usually, it's on you see on like a HO hyper offense mm-hmm. type of things. 
True, true. And then the uh, final one is faint. So uh, faint is one of those mo moves that is not used that mu much unless you're using like an Amir team. And uh, the the main thing with faint is that it's plus two priority, like uh, extreme speed. And it also has like a additional benefit of going through a protect. protect. Uh, so it's usually seen on like pincer and that's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's that good. Yeah. But you know, it, it, it is there though. So mm -hmm. if you want to try it out yourself, you can. Just, yeah. Okay, but what's that? It's like base 30? Yeah, it's base 30. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it, it's, it's, a, it's a little too weak for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is an option technically. Yes, true, true. All right. All right. So I think that's everything that yeah, we Yeah, that's about it. So, uh. Hey guys, hurry. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. I feel naked when I have priority on my team. True, true. And you should too. Yep. Because there's a, there's a lot of bad guys uh, going around this tier, man. The, you gotta you gotta be able to stop them somehow. You, you gotta protect yourself. You, you gotta be armed. Yes. Look look what Father Keys has done. He has given you the tools. So you have no excuse, guys. Um, you know that hand. <laughs> So you know who the culprits are. You you, you want to use them? Go ahead. Just make sure um, make sure you take care of your talent flame because that is a precious gift that we have in this tier. Do not let it go to waste. Yeah. You hear me? So uh, yeah, definitely definitely a lot of cool offensive uh, priority users. Good defensive priority users too, like Scissor, um, and uh, unique priority users like uh, Dredigan, of course. So uh, yes, now that you know who the who the culprits are, uh, just just watch out for them and uh, use use them if you want. Use them if you want. Um, anything else you want to say, sir? Just stay vigilant. Yes, yes. Uh, All right. I think you got everything for the most part. Yeah. So in in you know in the in the chime echo box, you guys can uh, leave your favorite priority user. You can leave your uh, favorite priority move. Anything of that, so you you can praise Father Keys. That's that's all right too. I mean, you know, th this is a this is a safe place to talk about it. You know, um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, please feel free to leave uh, lick a tongue and uh, ring the bronze song. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. Tongues, time to go to the bronze songs. We want them. We want them all. Yep. Yep. True. All right. All right, guys. So well, uh, we'll see you guys around for the next mm -hmm. one. Have yeah, a good one. Later. Peace.